Okay guys, so welcome. This is going to be my first gaming video. The FPS is really shitty. I'm probably just not going to post it. But if you see this, welcome. This is a game called Seduce Me. I've already played through this game once. So I kind of get what it's about. I know the story, but we're going to play through it. I'm not going to... Yeah, you're going to see my Steam pop up. I apologize. But... We're gonna just play through it, see what happens. Um, I don't know. My first playthrough I did off camera, and I went for Damien. So I don't know which one I'm gonna go for. So we're gonna start a new game. This is a fictional interactive narrative. All characters resemble all. Any character resemblance to real life people are purely coincidental. Also know that the following game is made for a PG-16 audience. Please know that sexual violent themes and are explored in this game. Trigger warning, abuse, implied rape, and suicide. You have been warned. Please enjoy. Why, hello. My, aren't you a gorgeous sight? Can I be honored enough to know your name? Um, we're just gonna name her Tafira. Mm, a lovely name for a lovely person like you. Wonderful. Eric, do your job. Very well. This game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Michaela Laws and is powered by Red Pie Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it, since you'll be in it. Eric. Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. Somewhere. So basically for this game, I'm going to be reading out any text that isn't already voiced. So yeah. Come on! Is that all you got? Want to try me, asshole? Pardon the language. There is a lot of language in this game. Let's retreat for now. No kidding. Let's get out of here. That's right. You better run, you stupid punks. Stay out of our territory. Call it fate or call it coincidence. That moment of violence started a chain of events I will never forget. This formula, created in the 70s, is one of the most important in the field of financial theory. It is used to calculate the price of European style options and is widely used by option marketers. Though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern viewpoint. Rain. It has been a long time since we've gotten rain around here. But it is the season for rainy weather, so it's not exactly that surprising. Personally, I love the sound of it. The way the raindrops fell, like a soft tapping of fingers, it was so soothing, even looking at the droplets hit the glass of the window was strangely calming. For this reason, I felt lucky for having a seat next to the window, though I did spend more time staring outside than paying attention in class. The lectures in class were pretty boring. Miss Phillips' voice wasn't... Sephiric? Sephiric? But I just wanted, wasn't interested in what she was saying. So what you will learn, I have a learning disability and a speech disability, so if I'm saying things weird, I apologize. And if I read things wrong, I apologize, but whatever. And since it was the period right before lunch, all I could think about was doing other things in my free time. Honestly, I didn't really care much for economics. Sure, I had good grades in this class, but it was only because I read the textbook and did my assignments as I had to. I was only taking this class because it was mandatory. 
If it were up to me, I would probably have taken another course. Luckily, it was my senior year, and after this semester, it would mean the end of my high school courses forever. Thank God for that. I didn't hate high school. It was just kind of mundane. How the days drifted on and on as if there were no end to it. And only, the only thing I really enjoyed about going to school was meeting my friends and hanging out with them. But that was kind of it. In short, I was done with high school. I started my second, the start of my second semester brought a note of finality to it. I had already applied to many universities this semester prior, and I was expecting replies sometime in the next few months. It seemed like the start of something new, something that would change. That is, if things could change. I s stared at a, the faint outline of raindrops in the distance. For now, I was stuck in this class. Miss Anderson. Miss Phillips raised her voice, interrupting my train of thought. Just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my face, turned my head to face the teacher. Hopefully, she didn't pick me just because she noticed that I was spacing out. Um, yes, ma'am. Would, Would you, you care, care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? Oh, I think I read about this in the textbook last night. It should be. The Black Skulls formula, model formula. Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Anderson, it followed me wherever I went. Most people didn't really know me by my first name, but rather by my surname. No doubt since my surname was the trademark of the internationally famous and filiotopical Anderson Family Toys, and because the founder was my own grandfather, Susie, one of my best friends, turned around and proudly gave me a punch to the shoulder. Hey, ass girl. From beside me, I heard Nya Naomi, another one of my best friends, clearing her throat, obviously disappointed of Susie's choice of words. <clears throat> she means good job. Miss Capini. Oi! Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? Uh, some guys named Black and Shoals? <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals. Very good, Miss Patterson. Show off. Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. Suzu rolled her eyes and slouched into her chair as Naomi gave her a small smirk. She was, she always pouted when Naomi showed her up. That's the end of today's lecture. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your projects. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. Before I knew it, Suzu and Naomi had scooted their desks to a line with mine and we turned into the Three Musketeers. Whenever the teacher let the students decide on groups, we always grouped together in our little trio. It was a sheer stroke of luck that we all managed to be in the same class, so we had to at least take the opportunity and stick together as much as we could. Besides, we were most comfortable around each other than, say, compared to being around other classmates. It just made sense for us to be to put our heads together for any kind of project. I took out a poster we were working on and rolled it up into onto the three desks. All right, so we're getting far. I'm gonna stop this recording now before it gets too far in case it's failed. So if this is posted, welcome to my channel. If it's not posted, well. Not welcome? I don't know. Good night, everyone.